Hey guys, welcome to the BD Themes widget tutorial. Today we'll introduce you to the Pacific widget brought to you by Prime Slider. Let's go! The Pacific widget is basically a slider tool for Elementor. It provides a minimalistic interface containing the post title, category, meta, date, a read more button, and navigation. Clicking on the read more button reveals the full content on a white screen. Click on the cross button to return to the slider. The slider comes with a smooth navigation system with next and previous buttons. Also, you can have numbers navigation too based on the number of sliders on display. We have made more beautiful templates with the Pacific slider like the next one here. We used overlay color on top of the background of the active slider for a nice symmetrical view. The overlay is placed on the centered content so each time you move the slider, the item in the middle gets the effect. Hovering over the read more button will highlight it with a text underline and clicking the button will open the post in a light box that covers the whole page. Now let's take a closer look at the Pacific slider from the back end. First of all, drag and drop the widget inside the Elementor page editor from the widget menu. From the options on your left, you can switch between two skins for the slider. Below, you can choose the number of columns visible on the display between 1 and 6. Let's select 4 for instance. You can see how they fit inside the window. Let's take a step back to three columns. Then using the scroll bar below, you can adjust the gap between the two slider items, meaning white space adjustments. And the second scroll bar is for changing the post image height. Let's adjust the bar till the slider looks dope. Then you can have a content alignment option that works on the text, meta and the read more button. The image size option lets you choose the on-screen image dimension for all sliders. Next, the query section is where you can choose the item limit for the displayed number of slider items. There are two fields below, the include and the exclude fields. You can use them to filter the slider posts. Then the additional section comes with a large number of switches to control the visibility of certain elements of the slider. At the bottom, you'll find a field to customize the read more button text. Next, the carousel setting section is filled with animation controls for the slider. You can customize autoplay, loop, animation speed, and more from here. For instance, turn off the autoplay and see the slider freezing on spot. Now, let's jump onto the style tab. From the first section, let's choose an overlay color for the sliders. We might adjust the opacity for a better view. There is a separate overlay option for the active slider item. Active means the featured one out of all items on the display. Then we can go to the title section to choose a bright yellow hover color for the title. Next, choose the same color for the background of the category boxes. The color goes yellow while the texts are black. For the read more button, the normal color should be yellow to match the new color preset. Then for hover, simply make the text white. Then we can customize the navigation controls through the next section. Just changing the colors is enough. The same goes for the pagination numbers on the slider. Yellow text color but a bit down in opacity. But the active pagination color should be bright enough so the visitors can distinguish between them. The last section model is for customizing the lightbox view of the slider items. Let's open both the lightbox and the model options to start customizing. Let's make a decent hover color for the title and that's good to go. Now, check how amazing the Pacific slider looks inside your web page. 
That's how easily you can make decent sliders with this easy to use widget. Thanks a lot for watching this video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel for more updates. See you next time.